name is Emma Menrinkin. I'm 13, and I play violin. I'm playing Caprice, Après l'étude en forme de valse, by Saint-Saëns, but it is transcribed for violin by Eugene Isaye. It used to be a piano piece, but um, Isaye decided that it'll sound really good for, viol um, for violin, and he was right, and now it's more famous for violin than it is for piano. liked the fact that violin looked impressive and I also when I was young I really liked listening to opera and they said the violin was the closest to the human voice so I always liked that I could express feelings through the violin without actually singing. Emma is definitely uh, one of the most talented kids uh, I came across. At this point, Emma is, uh, has been my student for seven years now. Uh, so it's, it's quite uh, amazing to see the growth in every way, um, intellectually, musically, physically. Uh, the development that, that you know, goes along with the violin, the physical development, uh, how the hands are changing and, and so on and so forth. So, and the responses with, uh, you know, through the seven years are amazing. So uh, she's becoming on her own, uh, a thinker on her own, and that's really uh, quite a pleasure to see that happening. looked up to Heifetz because he's like basically a combination of all the, all the great violinists put in one so he has the ups, up, up, all the things I like about Oistrach, all the things I like Sigeti and it's all put into Heifetz and he has that virtuosity that everybody looks up to. People, people still like him today. play I want to make people feel not especially happy but they I want them to feel connected with me like with me on the journey of music I want them to um, feel what the music is telling them and if if I'm able to do that with my playing then it's it shows that I've touched people and that they liked it amongst people I'm a little shy but when I'm on stage it feels like I, I'm, I'm the boss here no, nobody can beat me <laughs> 